Hey everyone, this is Matt from One Ashno Rover. Today I'll be showing you how to import a component that is not in the Manufacturer Path Search or our Ultium component library. Um, so in the schematic sheet, I'll be trying to import a PIC microcontroller. Um, and the first thing to do would be to check if the uh, component is in our uh, components library. So I'm going to search for the part number, which is DSPIC33EV32GM104. Have a look. Nothing there. Okay, let's have a look at the manufacturer part search. Okay, we've got something here, but as you can see, it doesn't have a uh, component uh, symbol here. So there's no footprint or symbol in the Altium uh, content vault. Um, so unfortunately, we're going to have to create our own um, footprint and symbol. Um, so uh, what I do know for a fact, though, is um, this specific model of PIC uh, has 32 kilobytes of memory, and I know the there is an identical uh, PIC with exactly the same physical layout, just except it has 256 kilobytes of memory. Um, so what I will do is I will search for a, exactly the same model, um, 33EB256, um, and if I search for this model, I notice this model here has a uh, symbol. So what I can do is I can actually right click and download this symbol. Um, and I have done that over here um, to get the uh, footprint and the schematic symbol of the 256 kilobyte pick. Um, and because I know these picks are physically identically the same, the only difference between them is just the memory. Um, I can use the footprint and sim uh, schematic uh, symbol for the 32 kilobyte version. Um, so with that downloaded, if I go back into components and I still search for that uh, 32 kilobyte pick that we're after and I go create component, I can now organize um, that component in our library according to um, Octopart, um, which I happen to have up here. Um, so here is the um, exact pick we're after. Um, and um, importantly, you can see how it's been organized, integrated circuits, embedded processors, and controllers, which is exactly the same what we want um, in our uh, Altium 365 library. Um, so if we go down to integrated circuits, embedded processes, and controllers, click OK. Okay, so that is going to import. Oh, no, no, sorry, it's not going to import because there's no uh, link to the, um, uh, there's no footprint and schematic symbol in uh, the Ultium content vault. But if we just copy and paste the uh, manufacturer part number in here, we can click on this one here. Um, don't worry about the I. Uh, I think the other one, the uh, on Octopart part had an E there. The only difference between the I and the E is basically the temperature rating of the picks. So the I believe the E component is uh, rated up to 125 degrees operating temperature. The uh, I uh, components of pick are only rated to 85 degrees, if I remember correctly. Um, so. Uh, the physical structure of the E and the I uh, picks are exactly the same. Um, so it asks us if we want to import component data from the cloud. We do. Hit, click OK. Let that load for a second. Okay, that's finished loading, um, and now we see we have data sheets and we have the manufacturer part number. Um, interestingly enough, none of the other parameter, uh, parameters of this pick were imported. Um, and the reason because of that is because if you go under advanced settings here, we see we're applying the embedded processes and controllers template to this uh, parameter import. Um, now, uh, currently this parameter import only contains uh, one uh, field, which is the manufacturer part number, and all the other fields are not there. So when we try to import all these uh, parameters from the LCM content vault, they get filtered and 
the only parameters that make it through are the uh, data sheet and the manufacturer part number. Um, so if we just change this to none for a second and we try this exact same thing again, um, click it and then we try this again, we're going to see all the uh, uh, parameters for the pick be imported this time. Um, so if you ever encounter this issue, that is the reason uh, for why some of those parameters aren't showing up. Um, make sure you switch it back to the uh, template um, because this will add the uh, this will add the manufacturer part uh, manufacturer part number field, which is is required for all components. Um, so if we just uh, copy that uh, manufacturer part number there, paste it in there, um, and then look at all these parameters. Uh, we can delete some of these because some of them are just not relevant to us. Um, that's not relevant to us. That's not relevant to us. Operating temperature is not really relevant to us. Uh, minimum operating temperature is not really relevant. Uh, package code. Package shape. Package style, it's not important. Qualification status, not important. SVHC, not important. RHS, not important. Uh, not important. Not important. Uh, not important. Okay, so we've got uh, parameters that are useful to us and useful to anyone using this component in the future. Uh, make sure the component has been. Uh, Linked to a uh, actual part uh, on Octopart, a physical part. This will make purchasing easier with the active bomb. Um, okay, so that's basically the uh, parameters set up for this component. Uh, the next thing to do would be to add a symbol and a footprint. Um, this is where it gets a bit trickier. Um, so if we just go to the Explorer panel, I'll add the uh, um, footprint first. Um, so if you look in components, models, footprints here, these are all the footprints that we have in our component library, our Altium 365 component library. As you can see, there's just two there at the moment, uh, one for a 1210 resistor and one for a 0603 resistor. Um, we don't have a footprint there for the pick that we're trying to make. So um, if we go back to the file that we downloaded earlier from the 256 kilobyte pick, but remember they are physically identical, we can use the footprint for the 256 kilobyte pick for the two, for the 32 kilobyte pick. Um, so the way we do that is if we just we go to the downloaded uh, component um, from earlier, and if we just drag and drop the PCB library document into Altium, it's going to open up here, and you can see there's a bunch of uh, Footprints, um, I'm going to delete these three because I prefer this one. Uh, the pad's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit easier to hand solder. These other ones are more suited to a pick and place machine. Um, so I'm just going to delete those. I'm um, also going to rename this footprint to something useful. So footprint properties, uh, and I'm going to call it uh, the, the DS pick. The, the manufacturer part number. Description, um, so put that in the foot print. Click OK. Uh, save this library. So click on it there, Control S. Um, OK, and then back to the component window, component editing window. And if we hit Explorer, and then we go back to the components, models, footprints uh, library. If we right click here and we click upload, uh, it's going to ask us if you want to upload any uh, PCB uh, uh, component footprint files. If we just click add here in the corner, we find our uh, PCB library um, from before, the one that we're editing up here. And if we click open and check a release note in here, um, and if you click OK, this is going to import that footprint for us um, through the library importer. Um, yep, 
yep, that's absolutely fine. So if you just click import here, it's just going to import the footprint, which is what we want. We don't want to import anything else at this stage, just the footprint. We just click import. That is going to import into uh, our footprint library on LTM 365. If we just refresh that, we should be able to see that footprint there now. And there it is. Awesome. You can see it's got a nice 3D model with it as well. Um, looking good so far. Um, okay, so the next thing to do now is to import the symbol. Um, now, I struggle to find an efficient way to import the symbol without mixing up some of the component data information. Um, so I'm not going to use the uh, schematic library importer. I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new symbol. So I'm just going to add symbol here and I'm going to call it uh, the model number for the pick, um, description, um, you can steal this directly off Octopart part here, which I'm going to do um, here, uh, yep, make, just make sure the description has relevant information. Um, don't put unnecessary information in the description. Um, you can leave the rest here, and you can leave the rest here. Okay, if you just hit OK now, this is going to open up a new window uh, with a new uh, schematic editing file. Um, and this is where, if we go back to the downloaded uh, footprints, if we find the... Um, schematic library of the downloaded footprints and now if we open this in Altium we can see this is the one that was downloaded from the 256 kilobyte version but if you just uh, select all this and copy this so control C and then if we paste this into the new uh, symbol that we created um, oh, zoom out a bit uh, there we are so now we have that footprint in uh, this uh, uh, new symbol um, document. And if we just save this, so control S, and then if we release this component, so a little crowd symbol up there. Uh, uh, just check advanced. Yep, that's all what we wanted to be. Click OK. This will get released, and now if we check in the Explorer panel, after we do a quick refresh, you'll see we have the resistor uh, footprint, uh, the resistor symbol, which was there from before, and now we have the uh, pick symbol here. Um, actually, you'll notice here there's a little asterisk here, which I actually forgot to change in the properties panel of the schematic library so I can actually do that if I go back into Explorer and right click on this and I click edit um, I'll go back in this uh, symbol editing panel and if I just click properties um, designator we want that to be U question mark so I'll just save that um, and I will re-release this project um, so just add a release note component And if I just re-release this component, uh, we'll see in the Explorer panel, after a refresh, there we are. We have our, our pick uh, symbol and uh, an appropriate designator uh, in the top left corner there. Um, okay, that's looking well and good. We have our footprint here for the pick. And if we go in the footprints library, we have our footprint and 3D model uh, in the footprints library. So now if we go back to the component editing panel, uh, this is what we filled out earlier. If we now go to symbol, if we go existing, and we're looking for a footprint at the moment. Um, actually, no, sorry, we're looking for a symbol at the moment. So if we go to symbols, and then we click on the one we just made, click OK, 
And then similarly with the footprint existing, click on the, uh, the, the pig footprint, click OK. And we are good to release the component now. Just do a double check. We've got the footprint, we've got the symbol, we've got all appropriate parameters. We have the part choice appropriately linked. Um, we have the manufacturer part number parameter included in here. That, that's an important one. Uh, the name uh, included, description. Yep, this is all looking pretty good. Um, so now we can release the component by clicking the crowd symbol again. Uh, and we can do initial release. If we click OK, that looks all good. It's going to take a second to upload to LTM365. Awesome, and if we go back to our original schematic document, and we have a look at Explorer quickly. If we look in Components, Integrated, Circuits, Embedded Processes and Controllers, You'll see here is our pick, um, and you can see the uh, footprint and 3D model, and you can also see the schematic symbol here, and also all the uh, appropriate parameters off to the left. Um, so now when we want to place the component, if we just go into the components tab here, and we click, uh, or we can search for it, or I, I know it's in the integrated circuits panel, integrated circuits folder, and I know it's in the embedded process and control folder, just drag this out, you guys can see. Um, there it is. I can move it in and then I can start working with it in my design. Um, so that's basically all there is to it with uh, importing a component uh, that is not in the manufacturer part search. Um, that's how you add it to our component library. That's how you use it in your designs. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, any concerns, please let me know. I'm happy to help. Thanks, guys. See ya. Ciao.